Now the second part of the story, that is honor, welfare and comfort of the men you command comes next. If we see into the present management terms, this translates into our efforts to make to do team building. Now when these men which you are commanding as an officer come to a unit, thereafter the officer is supposed to know about each man. Each, each, each of his men should be known. He should know their names, their personal traits, their family details. It is not like a civil department that you have cleared a particular exam. Now you've been appointed an officer. You go to the office at nine o'clock, sit down on the chair and start giving orders. No, it doesn't happen that way. We have to have maximum interaction with the men. Officers interact with the men in various modes during a unit's daily routine. Like I'll give you an example. Once I was commissioned in the army, I had one star here. Those days it used to be second lieutenants. Today we pass out with two stars. But when I went there, I thought I had become an officer. I'll have about 100 odd men directly under my command and I'm a big man. But the army doesn't happen that way. The first day I landed up in a unit, I was back to my days of being a cadet in IMA, uh, sorry, NDA, NDA or IMA. So I was told, please remove your stars, put on a dangri, long with PT shoes and start joining the parades with the men. So I was made to stand with them. I was made to uh, stay, uh, eat with them, stay with them the whole day. Whenever a Jawan's fallen is there, officer who is being trained goes there. Likewise, your probation occurs for three months. And the aim is that you know your men, you know their customs, you know their religions, uh, like customs, I'll tell you uh, very interesting ones. Like I went to a South Indian unit. So major uh, customs were, major uh, festivities were Onam, Pongal, Ayappa Puja, where we all have to participate in full strength along with the men. Like I give you a small example, like in case of a, a Onam party, there are competition between the batteries. One battery produces 35 dishes that day to be served for that meal, festivity, in a bada khana. The other guys, the next battery, Subhadar Major or uh, Senior JCO, he is watching. He says 35, he, pre he produces 37. Those two dishes are kept in Likewise, third one something, does something better. So this is a kind of a, uh, uh, oneness. This is a kind of competition, a healthy competition, which gives rise to good traditions. Similarly, uh, uh, you have religious functions in which pujas are there. All officers, all men attend all the religious functions, irrespective of what religion you belong to. Like I can assure you, it can happen only in the army where a Christian is doing havan and a Muslim is singing bhajan and Hindu is um, uh, uh, singing Gurbani and Sikh is standing in front of the Jesus. So likewise, this kind of incidents you can have only in the army. So you interact with the men, with all their persons to know their traits, each individual trait as well as his group traits. So these are very important to find out who's fit for what job. So whenever a mission is given to you and it is broken into smaller sections and each one is assigned a task. So unless you as an officer know them, you cannot do that. It is unlike what happens with civil, that you go at nine and they maybe office finishes at five. But here you are with the men the whole day. Then you also uh, uh, make sure that you are interested into their welfare, their living conditions, their uh, eating uh, conditions, the kind of food they eat. All that is known to you only because you have spent time with them. And that is the time when you were a young officer. Like when I went, I was told, remove the stars, put on a dangri, and I was told that the one Havaldar, he is your Ustad now. He will teach you what the, is to be done. And I still remember, it was a equipment management uh, period. So he told me, Saab, ye generator hai, aap iske sare nipples utariye, unko dhoye, kerosene mein khud apne haath se, wapas lagaye, fit kariye, aur uske baad, greasing gun ke saath, har ek nipple ko grease kariye. Those days, the sophisticated systems were not there. So, as a result, I knew how many nipples are L-shaped, how many are obliques, how many are straights. So, this is how you learn about the equipment. So, this is true for all stages of your unit life. So, you know every bit. So, whatever you are asking your man to do, 
you have done it yourself you you have done it yourself and you do it like if i am sitting here and i expect this room to be spick and span and absolutely clean let me assure you in national defense academy i have done bench and polish myself so that is how i know how, how i know that if i ask a jawan to do this cleaning of his barrack i exactly know what does this involve if on a equipment certain thing malfunctions which is the job of done by a technician jawan i also know how it is done so that is how i am able to do it this is how the rapo is formed so you see their personal growth a jawan must do certain qualifications to become that get pick up the next rank you do that also so that he becomes a jc on time you have to manage that also and thereafter you have to encourage him ki okay uh, you want to go for a uh, let's say army college cadet college want to become an officer these are the provisions available you have to tell them and you can seek these opportunities so all this is a job which you are done by an officer for the welfare towards a jawan even welfare of his family if there is somebody sick in the family they need medical treatment in some part in india which is available in the army all over india that all those things are looked after their children if if they have to be getting some admission somewhere they help maybe coaching for them so all these kinds are uh, to come come into the category of welfare of men so this is done by the officer so this is how the rapo gets created between the man and the officer thereafter there is a misconceived perception in the in the civil that in army everything is order and order has to be obeyed no it is not order which is being obeyed it is the personal rapo there are plenty of examples in the army where an officer has not behaved the way i am telling you sometimes there are aberrations and that officer has had that problems so it is it is just that even if a jawan is doing a night duty there is an officer also on duty that night we call it a duty officer who goes around checking all the guards in the unit so whenever there is a difficult situation it is never the men alone it is all the officer with them and this is oneness between the officer and the men which is which amounts to your team building and this is done in a proactive manner sustained manner in a very very uh, guided manner in a very very planned manner all curriculums everything is set what is going to happen at that particular period of time of the day it is already planned and it is approved by somebody and finally as i told you your own ease your own comfort comes last always and every time to give you some examples like we go for a training outside and we having a camp let me assure you the officer's tent is the last one to be pitched officer will not sleep till every jawan is comfortable in his own tent he's got food is has got accommodation everything is there but when as when it comes to training we are ruthless then there is no bhai bandhi as i said we are friends with the men but not familiar because if you become familiar you can't become a yadi because you have to do job you have to be a mission oriented guy so that is the next lesson that you build your team and you be very friendly to a guy and yet not be familiar to him so guys Uh, this is the uh, in this series of uh, very many videos i'll tell you many lessons that army teaches you in management you can use this at home you can use in your personal lives you can use in your office you can use in your corporates and wherever you feel all these lessons will come handy and there are a lot of misconceptions that you may have i'll try and clear them so bye for now and see you again